Hello everyone, how's it going? Elliot here again, and in today's video we're going to be doing a little refurb video on a Nintendo Game Boy cartridge. This kind of applies to a lot of different cartridges, um, namely the Nintendo Entertainment System cartridges, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System cartridges, um, Famicom cartridges, and I think that's pretty much about your lot. Although it could work on other cartridges that are the same kind of colour as these ones. So you'll be able to tell on here that this is kind of like a really brown sort of colour here. So what we're going to be doing in today's video is fixing that. So you're going to need a couple of household items to do this. You're not going to need anything really special and a couple of things are optional. So obviously you're going to need a uh, slightly dirty cartridge. And what we're going to be trying to do here is actually completely ensure that the sticker is still intact. So uh, yeah, you're going to need your cartridge. The next thing you're going to need, and this is the most important one probably, is a nail, um, like the stuff that people put on their nails, like. Uh, nail varnish? No, not, not nail varnish. One of those hardeners. <laughs> nail gels or something. So basically this is just um, UV light. Now you can actually do this just by sitting it outside on a patio in the sun or something, but it's uh, winter over where I am, where I'm recording this right now. So um, this is what I'm going to be using. Next up, you're going to need some cling film. This may be called like cellophane where you are or plastic wrap or something. Um, but where I am in the UK, this is called cling film. Now, unfortunately, you are going to require one specialist tool. This right here is a game bit screwdriver. This is the slightly smaller size. There's two different ones. One's for things like the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, and one is for the cartridges. So you're going to need one of those. You're also going to need some of this. Now, this is cream peroxide. For those of you who have seen retro brighting before, this is basically the magic solution that does all of the fantastic stuff that we need it to do. And um, basically it's just bleach. So I picked this up at Boots, which is just my local chemist. Um, I think one pot is about £1.50 or something like that. And one pot will do you a lot of different things. This also works for Game Boys, Game Boy Pockets, um, and other various consoles that are of that color. And then the last bits and bobs you're gonna need is just some cleaning solutions. I've got isopropyl alcohol, um, some Mr. Sheen, of course, uh, some little Q-tips and cotton buds and a microfiber cloth. Now, one thing, this is the kind of optional part, um, I would advise using a hairdryer to remove this little sticker that's actually on the top here. Um, but you can use like a heat gun, or if you're really careful, you'll probably be able to peel it off um, just without anything. But I would recommend using a little bit of heat just to um, lower the um, chance of ripping the actual sticker itself. So without any further ado, let's crack on with all of this. So before taking the label off, we're actually gonna to wanna to remove the um, insides of the cartridge. Uh, this will also give us an opportunity to clean it with the isopropyl alcohol. This is really, really simple. It's only one screw. You just remove it on the back, um, the game bit screwdriver, set that to the side, and um, then you take your shell. I think it's a case of sliding the front piece down or the back piece up, and then you just wiggle off the, uh, the top, and you'll be inside. Really nice little, um, cool removal. You want it on the full heat, I'm going to put it on the medium fan and I'm going to go ahead and do this. The hairdryer really didn't work. Um, this is a paper-based sticker, so you'll see that all it's done is um, just start ripping. Fortunately, Pokemon Green is um, a really, really cheap game. You can pick them up for about three or four pounds, um, so it's better that I've done this than you done it on Trip World. So what I think we're gonna do instead is um, we'll give everything a little wipe down with some isopropyl alcohol, um, just to make sure that we've cleaned off all of the surface kind of dirt. And then I will just apply some um, of the cream peroxide to the shell of the cartridge and we'll just go ahead and see what happens sticking it into the um, the little nail varnish um, nail polish 
heater thing, whatever it is. So you just place those two right there like that. And you take your cream peroxide and then you just apply generously onto the front and to the back. I'm gonna try and go around the label, although I'm pretty certain this label is more or less toast now. Don't get any of this on your hands because um, it will just like stain your skin for a little bit. It's not a permanent thing, but it's not ideal. Okay, and then you place, tighten it up so that it's nice and um, nice and sealed in there. Leave a little bit of room down the middle so that it can uh, get it there as well. And then you just want to squeeze the um, cream peroxide around the edges and pop it into the nail hardener. This is a real strange video that I'm doing. And then you just sit it in there. I'd probably suggest keeping it um, centered in the middle because there is actually lights on my one around all the different sides. And then you just slide it in and you turn it on. There we go. And then it turns it on like that. And then we're just gonna get a little bit of um, baking foil and I'll just put that in the front there. And all that's gonna do is just um, keep reflections coming from the front as well. What we can do in the meantime now is clean up the um, actual cartridge PCB. This is a really, really easy thing to do. Just take a Q-tip or a cotton bud and just rub it across the pins on the bottom. Um, and that will just allow for a little bit of a better contact. You could also replace the battery if you needed to, um, but my battery on this one is absolutely fine. Give everything a nice little wipe down. Never gonna be too dirty, but it just depends where you get it from and where it's been stored. So there we go. And then you can just give that a little wipe down with your rag. And that will work first time every time. It's actually the next day. This took me probably about um, maybe two and a half hours to retrobrite actually took a lot longer than I thought it would have done, which is a bit weird. Um, it hasn't actually come out looking too bad. Unfortunately, um, the sticker is slightly damaged from where I tried to peel it off. But if I didn't try to peel it off, it would have actually looked okay. Um, there's a little bit of kind of water damage on the sticker from where um, I washed the um, retro brightening solution off afterwards. But other than that, it looks way, way better than it did when I first got it. So um, definitely somewhat worked. When I flip it over, you'll be able to see on the back um, the stain that I was looking at um, earlier on from where there may have been a sticker placed on the back there or something was, I'm not really sure how that's happened. But anyway, um, the writing also hasn't come off as, as well as I thought it would have done. I tried the isopropyl alcohol, but it didn't quite rub off. Um, but you'll see that there's a slightly brighter um, area here. Now I have a couple of theories why I think that might be. I think that's something to do with the fact that this grey um, is actually not, it's not quite the same grey as, as what's on the Game Boys, what we're used to retro brighting. And I think what's actually happened is um, it's just gone a lighter grey colour um, because what, what that um, retro brighting solution does is ju it's just a bleach. So what it's done is just bleached the plastic more than what it looks like um, regularly. So you can see there that it's just not quite uh, the same color. But that being said, um, you know, you can probably do two of these at once and they definitely look better. If you're thinking of reselling some Game Boy games, um, it, it's only a couple of extra pounds just to get a little bottle of that um, retro brightening solution. And it definitely looks a lot nicer than it did beforehand. So I think that's a bit of a success. Let me know what you guys think um, in the comment section below. Uh, now I can pop my uh, motherboard back in to the Game Boy cartridge and put the screw in the back. It's definitely uh, better than it was before and in that sense it's an improvement. It's a shame that I wasn't able to get the sticker off. Uh, that was a bit of a, a waste of a, of a sticker because the sticker was like absolutely immaculate on this before I ruined it. But that being said, um, I'm not going to be playing much of this game anyway because it's in a language that I don't understand. So yeah, pretty happy with how that's turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.